here we are. Just so you know, guys, I'm just going to be busy these next couple of months, so I'm going to be uploading like one or two videos every week, and occasionally three. I'm still going to be with you guys, and there's still going to be new videos every week, but not as much as I used to be posting, okay? There was a period of time when I would publish one video a week, and I think now it's coming to that time, because I'm going to be very busy these next couple of months. But anyways, I do have time to share with you a new anime series that I rented. Another full series, The Black Blood Brothers. Another vampire series. You know, ever since my girlfriend and I started dating, she's been introducing me to a lot of Japanese anime and the beauty of them and the what I like about Japanese anime besides the animation. I only like two things about Japanese anime, the voice acting and the writing or the plot. And the plots are some of the best that I've ever seen. You hardly see them in, in Hollywood motion pictures. I am a diehard fan of two uh, franchises, Star Wars and Japanese anime. So yeah, I gave Black Blood Brothers a try. I actually started watching the first, the first tape last night. Really good, okay? If you're a fan of vampires like Vampire Diaries, True Blood, and well, vampire movies in general, you should start watching Black Blood Brothers. I really am getting a kick out of these. Another interesting fact about Japanese anime is the Blood series. And speaking of Blood series, once again I have rented the first half of Blood Plus, the first 25 episodes of Blood Plus, that is. This is in this box. Apparently Blood is a series or a franchise. I found out that um, Robin Williams was a giant fan of Japanese anime. A lot of celebrities actually are fans of Japanese anime. Robin Williams was a bit of a surprise, but he stated that one of his favorite films is Blood the Last Vampire. Reading about Blood the Last Vampire, I read about the plot and I found out as I was reading that Blood Plus is a spin-off to Blood the Last Vampire. Different kind of plot, you know. Instead of vampires in the ser in the TV show, the vampire characters or creatures are called Corrupterans. I haven't seen the movie Blood the Last Vampire yet. I will see it. You heard me say yet. But for now, I gotta sit back, relax, and watch Black Blood Brothers. Just so you know, Black Blood's a type of vampire breed in the show. What's this story about, you're wondering? Let's read the back, shall we? Today, two brothers travel to the Special Zone, a place where vampires live freely in peace alongside humans. The troubles of the past long forgotten, but the brothers find themselves in the midst of a battle between human soldiers, vampire refugees, and the reemergence of the Kulun children. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, there is a big war going on between those vamp between the vampires and the Kulun children. It looks like a really good series, and so far I'm enjoying it. I've only seen two episodes. I only saw the first two episodes, and I'm really getting a kick out of it. I wonder if my friend who's also into samurai, the samurai genre, I wonder if he will like it. I'll talk to him about it. 